I'm a chemist and material scientist, but also I'm an entrepreneur. My team are involved in space weather research. I recognise that I'm a scientist. My skill set is driving research in, in the lab. What I like is that materials that I create or technology that I create are really used either by people or by industry. So anything that we are relying on technologically using a satellite will in some sense be affected by the ionosphere. If you're relying on that for an autonomous system like an aeroplane or a self-drive car, it becomes much more important that it's working all of the time. So the application is in information security, so it's driving unique identities. The process of forging one of these devices is as complicated as it could possibly ever get. We coat pharmaceutical products, a pill, with these two-dimensional materials, and you can verify that the pill that you're just about to swallow is valid in a database held by a company. We are working in the area of aerospace as well as in construction. We are looking at deploying heaters on the wings of aeroplanes for de-icing. We are thinking about bringing graphene to domestic heaters, but also into industrial applications. A lot of the measurements we take tend to be up at the polar regions, right across the remote regions of Antarctica and into the United States base at the South Pole. The first product that we're bringing to market actually is quite unique. It utilizes imperfections in quantum systems. So we're using what was previously a problem in these technologies for, for advantage for a real application. Our product is exceptionally cheap and actually this is one of the uh, real benefits of the technologies we realised that we can actually make applications purely based on these nanostructures. And this is when I went into working uh, with several spin-out companies. I thought it, it was exceptionally important for me to find somebody who had business experience. I partnered with a chap called Philip Speed, who has immense experience in technological markets and developing spin-out companies. The spin-out company is, is quantum-based. One of the commercial companies that we work with is Spirant. Working with a company is certainly a team effort. They have skills that I don't have and I have skills that they don't have. And so I can bring a lot more of the technical ideas and they know how to translate them into real products. The Royal Society Fellowship is perhaps the most amazing thing that ever happened to me. They are prestigious. I immediately learned about the number of possibilities that I can have. That support was amazing. It was unique. I had the opportunity to go on the Imperial College business courses. That taught me an awful lot about how research can become commercialised. It's shown me the importance of building trust with the company. Graphing can offer massive changes to the way we live. It's nice to know that what I've done is useful. I really want to make a difference. 